Hello everyone! In this video I'm going to show you how to load GoCAD models into EarthSci. GoCAD is an application that allows you to create 3D geological models and the formats that it stores those models in are open ASCII models. You can open them in any text editor, write to the formats from a number of applications or build your own exporters. There's quite a bit of information on the formats on the internet, making them a very accessible format for geological models. To begin with, I'm going to look at this S-Grid model that I've got. I'm going to select the SG file and I'm going to drag it into the scene panel in EarthSci. The first thing that happens is it brings up a wizard. In order for EarthSci to know how to position the model, you need to tell EarthSci what the spatial reference system is. You can do that with a PROJ4 or with a OGCWKT, but I'm going to select a predefined SRS with an EPSG code. Clicking select will bring up another window with a list of all of the EPSGs known to EarthSci. And in the field at the top of that window, I'm going to write in the EPSG for the model. This model's EPSG code is 28355. I click OK and finish. And this is loaded in a S grid volume. If I turn these layers off so you can see it, and I can slice through this data. It has, however, picked up the colors from the GoCAD model. I can actually define new colors for it on import. So if I remove this model from the scene by selecting it and clicking on the red X at the top of the scene panel. So if I then drag that model back in, I have to give it the SRS again. Select EPSG code 28355, okay. And then instead of clicking finish, click next. Now we are looking at the second page of the wizard, which gives you the ability to add in a color ramp. By default, it says use default colors, and this selects the colors from the file itself. There are quite a lot of options to choose from. A lot of them are standard GoCAD color ramps. I'm going to pick the cyan to red color ramp, and then change the colored property, which is the property from the model that it uses to color the data. And as you can see, the color ramp has changed. And if I slice through this data now, we can see a different view of the data. In this case, the extremes between the two different values. EarthSci can also load in surface models. In my data folder, I am going to select my .ts file and drag that in. It will give me the same wizard that I got before, and I've got to provide the SRS for the model. This model is in EPSG 3112, which is a GDA 94 Lambert projection. Then I'm going to click next and choose a color ramp. This particular data set doesn't have a color ramp defined in the file. So I'm just going to leave it on the default rainbow hue color ramp. This file is a little larger. And if you look in the scene view, it actually says that it is still loading the data set. And it's come in with the color ramp we've given it. This will work with most of the GoCAD formats. Another file that I've got is a GP file. I can drag that into EarthSci as well. Select the EPSG, which is again 3112. Select a new color ramp for it. However, I'm going to leave the property blank, which should select the property from the file, and then click Finish. Now it's loaded this data set in, but I have to reposition the camera and hide the other two data sets. And there it is, loaded into EarthSci. Thanks for watching this video and getting 3D data into EarthSci. For more information, please visit ga.gov.au slash EarthSci.